Good afternoon, my name is David, I work for Norfolk Yacht Agency and I'm here today to show you around this 1987 Broom 1070. She's fitted with two Volvo 150 horsepower diesel engines driving through shafts. She is fitted with a bow thruster and a stern thruster which makes her quite manoeuvrable as you can probably see. It's a relatively small gap here but my boss got her in quite comfortably so very easy to boat to manoeuvre. So I'm going to take you on board. There's three ways to uh, get access to this boat by the stern, which is all I'm going to do today. But there is also an entrance on both sides of the boat. So as I said, today I'm going to use the stern to take you on board. Okay, so on board, take a walk around the boat. So nice wide side decks, stainless steel handrails either side. Make, make access around the boat quite easy at the front. Obviously, two stainless steel fender baskets, electric anchor winch, and down the other side, and back to the cockpit. So, very easy to boat walk around and very safe with it. Okay, so up in the cockpit, there's plenty of space. Um, got a dual helm seat, a navigator seat, more seating at the rear on both sides of the stern, and a little more on the starboard side. Nice thing is that both the helm and the navigator seat are both reversible, so there's seating for about eight people up here. Condition of fabric is good, it looks nice and clean. So, a nice place to spend on a nice sunny day like today with your friends, family, enjoying life on the river. So, taking you to the helm, the upper helm anyway, two rev counters, speedometer, the bound stern thrusters, uh, GPS plotter, VHF radio. Ring ring log and a forward looking sounder, echo, um, echo sounder, and then a compass. Well. So there's quite a lot of um, navigation kit up here. So I'll take you down the stairs now and show you what she looks like inside. Okay, so entrance to the boat is through a centrally mounted companionway down a set of stairs that turn to the left, which brings you into the main saloon. So a nice big space. Nice settee covered in leatherettes. Again, the fabric looks in really good condition. There's plenty of locker space. And this boat comes with a dual helm, so downstairs we've got another helm position that gives us all the other instrumentation you might need, such as Volts, oil pressure, water temperature. And then it's probably just a couple of things to show you. Uh, just below the rear of the window, you can probably see it. Been a bit of water ingress in the past and it's left the wood looking a bit in need of repair. So water ingress itself has been stopped, but that could clearly do with a bit of a cosmetic updates. And it's the same on the other side. So not bad, but uh, you could just do with a bit of brushing down and revarnishing. So moving further forward, we've got galley on the starboard side. So on cold water, sink and drainer, oven, three burner gas hob, grill, fridge, and a fair bit of a fair bit of storage. Again, probably just worth pointing out that uh, there is still that bit of water ingress that's been there now, now sorted, but uh, just needs to be finished. On the other side of the boat, the heads, or forward heads anyway. So, when you flush the toilet to a holding tank, uh, hot and cold water to a sink. Quite a big space that is. <clears throat> 
on for that we've got uh, two v-berths great for kids family guests <coughs> Uh, so I can go back out of the boat, back up through the cabin. Engine access is under two hatches under the carpet here. Very easy access. I go to the water at the back of the boat. Nice thing about this boat and lots of other brooms is it's an aft cabin with a, an island double berth. So lots of space in there. Nice big bed. Plenty of windows. Not too dark. Wood looks good in here. And um, one of the advantages of the aft cabin is you can open it on an ensuite. So again, many flush toilet, shower, shower curtain. So ideal for mum and dad or the owners of the boat. It's an escape hatch there. I'm not sure that you'll ever need it, or at least I hope you don't, but it's there anyway. And then the other side, some storage. Going back out of the boat. <clears throat> Just give you another quick look round so you can get some idea of the space. And I'll take you back upstairs into the cockpit. Mind you, what a nice airy space this is to be as well. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> so probably worth mentioning that the screen, the radar arch and canopy's all come down, so it reduces the air draft a bit. And I guess with a canopy down on a hot day like today, this is going to be an even better place to spend your time. So again, just another quick look round, and then I'll take you off the boat. Okay, so that's our 1987 Broom 1070, which is called JC, and that is written like that. Take that in the front. It's a very clean boat. Same as still mud right there. So that's her, 1987 Broom 1070. 250 horsepower Volvo diesel engines. She's lying here at Horning with us. Uh, we're open seven days a week. If you'd like to take a close look, and I hope you do, give us a call and we'll find a date and time that's suitable for you. Take you on board and give you a close look. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.